Space Engineers wouldn't be as popular as it is today without the extensive mod support it has, but finding the right mods to use is often very difficult. In this video we're going to be going over some of the mods that I consider essential to making your Space Engineers experience the best possible. Now, two quick caveats. First of all, I'm not omniscient. I don't know every single mod in existence. So please, if you think I've missed any mods, let me know in the comment. Just don't post any links in the comments because they automatically get blocked. Secondly, not all these mods are available on Xbox, but I'll leave a link in the description below if they are. Whilst I understand what the devs are trying to go for, the all translucent blue UI Space Engineers is very difficult to read at times. If you're like me, you have a tendency to dump all your items into one cargo container, and this leads to difficulties when you're looking for items. For example, I used to search, but I put iron, because there's iron in these cargo containers somewhere, but can't see where it is. I'm looking, it's, it should be there somewhere. When you look in a container full of all items and ores, it's really difficult at a glance to tell what you're looking at. Without me hovering over it, can you actually tell me what these ores are? I have to hover over each one, read the name, cringe, until I find it. Colourful icons fixes that, by as you can imagine, colouring in all the icons. As you can see in this container here, it's much easier to tell things like ores apart, different tiers of tools, and the components pop much better against the background. So now if I need some iron, some ice, or a tier 3 tool, or any component, I can more easily identify what it is when I open the container. For such a simple mod, it does so much to improve the experience of playing the game. I can't describe how unbelievably useful build info is. I mean, I'll try, I mean, it wouldn't be a great video if I didn't, but I mean it when I say this, adding this mod to your game will change your life. Build info adds lots of extra information to the game. For example, when you place a block, it shows you basically everything you need to know about the block. For example, on this drill, you can see its weight, its HP, its cargo space, the mining radius, and so much more. And once the block is placed, it lists all the information on the interface that isn't normally shown. For example, in this hydrogen tank, you can see exactly how much hydrogen you're currently using and how long you have until it's all used up. And considering the number of times I've seen you guys run out of hydrogen and fall out the sky, I think this might be really useful to you guys. Please, I don't think I can handle if I see another hydrogen ship crash right outside the base. It doesn't stop there though, as the mod allows you to enable lots of different overlays that show many different things, the most useful of which being the radius of drills, welders and grinders, and this overlay that shows which blocks your thrusters will damage. Additionally, if you get into the cockpit of a ship, there are several extra overlays as well. One of these shows all the names of the blocks and groups on your hotbar, meaning you no longer need to decipher the base game's cryptic symbols and other people's dodgy groupings. And there's also a bar that visualizes the storage capacity of a ship. And if you have a drill or a grinder equipped, it also shows how full it is, making it easier to work out when your ship is full. We're just up in space doing some mining. As you can see, both bars are going up. The bottom bar indicates the inventory of the full ship. It doesn't count any connected grid. So if you're connected to a station for whatever reason, it won't show that. But in most circumstances, that won't matter. As you can see, the drill actually lights up first. The ore goes into it first and then gets sucked through into the cargo container. And when your drills start to fill up, that means you're nearly full. As you can see here in the inventory, as the UI indicated, all my cargo containers are full and my drills are nearly full. The best part about all of this is, everything I've just listed is highly configurable. Meaning if you don't like something, you can just turn it off. There's even more features I haven't listed here, so please, please, please check out the mod page to see everything Build Info has to offer. AQD or a Quantum in Depth is a collection of mini mods that aim to improve the game in many different ways, with the aim of improving that core Space Engineers experience. As each mod only contains one or two features, you can mix and match the mods to tailor your experience to your own liking. Notable mods include Small Grid Expansion, which has small grid versions of some of the blocks or excuses for large grids, such as refineries, assemblers, and jump drives. Using this, you can build a small ship that does basically everything you need. My favourite addition is a small grid jump drive, as I quite often want my designs to emulate the Rebel Alliance in their feel, and all their ships have built-in hyperdrives. Armour Expansion, which adds several new armoured slopes that are currently not available in the base game. If you're like me, this will be exceptionally useful for you, as there's always a shape that I need in the base game that I can't find. Also, what's with the game's problems with points? Why can't I build a good looking nose cone in vanilla. Conveyor expansion, which has several new conveyor variants, although rumour has it that some of these might be getting added in the next update. A standout addition from this is the conveyor adapter, which allows you to easily convert between small and large conveyors on a small grid. Additionally, there's AQD vanilla extension and AQD quality of life, which are collections of mods by many different authors, as their names would imply, enhance the vanilla experience and include several of the other mods on this list. Something interesting to know about vanilla extension and quality of life, all the mods included listed as required items. This is because if you add a mod to your world, all its required items are automatically added into the game. For example, if I were to enable AQD vanilla extensions in my game, even though I'm not subscribed to all these mods, they would all be added to my game as well. Same goes for quality of life. If I were to enable quality of life in my game, it would add all these mods to my world as well. I don't know how this works with the mod IO, but on Steam, this is definitely the best way to do it. Computer, poor simulation.
Hello, I've caught you in the middle of the video to make an announcement. In the summer, I'd like to host a Space Engineers multiplayer server with you guys. For those of you that don't operate in seasons, that would be the beginning of July. And if you're watching this in the future, the server might already exist. Crazy how time works, right? The server would be a mix of traditional survival with a couple of events mixed in. For example, I've already constructed an arena for a Robot Wars slash BattleBot style event. And with the new turret controllers, I thought a tank battle might be fun as well. If you want to see some examples of this, I will link three videos of events we did in the past to give you a feel of what we're going for. If you'd like to join in, make suggestions, discuss what we're going to do on the server, or just, you know, hang out. There's a link to my Discord in the description where I'll be hosting the server, and there's also links down there to the other platforms I use if you'd like to check them out. Anyway, back to the video. Computer, resume simulation. We've all been there. You've built your perfect ship, and it's slow. Really? really slow. You could add more thrusters, but that would ruin the aesthetic of the ship you're going for, or you'd have to find places to hide them. I'm also really tired of seeing ships that are just boxes of thrusters. You guys know who you are. Adjustable thruster multipliers fixes this by adding a slider to all your thrusters that allows you to increase the thrust by up to 11 times. The energy and fuel cost that also increases with the slider, as the point of this mod is to reduce the amount of thrusters on your ships. Now you can focus on how your ship looks rather than how it flies. Or you know, you could just make the previous monstrosity you created move at the speed of light. Do you ever have a block, like this light for example, that you want to change the settings of, but you have no idea which of your thousand lights on your ship it is? What if you could go to that block and change all its settings just by looking at it? Build Vision, no relation to Build Info, allows you to do this. All you have to do is look at a block, press Ctrl and either mouse up or down, and it opens one of two menus, one designed for controller and one designed for keyboard and mouse. From here, you can rename the block, toggle it on and off, and change all its settings, like for example, the colors on this light. Basically, if you can change it from a cockpit, you can change it in build vision. And you can also copy and paste the settings from one block to another. So this is incredibly useful for doing things like turning off steering on wheels. Unless you remember exactly which order you place the wheels on your vehicle, which you probably don't if you're building it in a hurry. You're not gonna know which of these front are without messing around with the settings. With this, you can just go up to the wheel, you could rename it to front like I already have done. Then you can go to the back wheel, name it back, and then turn off steering. No longer faffing around in menus, turning wheels, seeing if they're on or off, etc., etc. You can also unlock that pesky connector that's already been annoying at the press of a button. And because it only confirms your settings when you left click, if you, for example, increase the velocity of something, like a hinge or a piston or whatever, and then right click when it's in the position you want, it will then stay in that position because it will go back to the velocity of zero it started on. If you had a bit more practice, like I clearly need, you could use this to build all sorts of wacky contraptions like cranes and walkers and all that kind of stuff. Or, you know, you could just use it to rename your cargo containers like I do. Once you get the hang of using Build Vision, it will be one of the most powerful tools in your engineer's arsenal. And finally, a shameless self-plug, the Zeros Tweaks Collection is a series of mods I've created that tweak some of the blocks in the game to improve their effectiveness. Changes include massively improving the radius of all detectors, improving the radius of all tool blocks such as drills, grinders and welders, increasing base thruster strength, adding a larger radius for lights and spotlights, and many other minor tweaks to improve the gameplay experience. Basically, these are my own personal tweaks to make the game more fun. The whole list of changes can be found linked in the description and of course, I'm open to tweaking or adding things into my mods so please let me know if you have any ideas. If you want to learn more about any of these mods, you can find links to them all in the description. And I'm sure you all have mods that you can't play without so please let me know with a comment. And finally, also let me know if there are any groups or themes of mods you'd like to see in future videos and maybe together we can build the perfect Space Engineers experience.